Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to, drop the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it. We'll do it. We've got a um, second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we're putting out. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and you have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Didat, Jubab Hijab. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. Last two questions, the lady over here. Right. Um, I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves? Um, because of the weakness of men, shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her shave off her head. Your Bible says that. The woman, the woman who bathes her hair says, shave them off. Shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street, and people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, well, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no, I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church, nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast at the Scarborough and all that with bikinis and tangas and G-strings, look. She... It's attracting... <laughs> look, even an old man like me, I tell you, my God. <laughs> If, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know. The Quran says, the Quran says, Zujina lin nasi hubbu shahwati min an nisa. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, minan nisa, women. Well, banin, then son. You know, I've got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how, how, you know, it makes me feel proud. I've got 11 sons, you know, my own football team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Well, banin, and number three, well, qanatir al mukantarad min al zahabi wal fiddah, and hoarded heaps of gold and silver, and wealthy land, and horses branded for excellence, and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says, the thing that allures man most on this earthly existence is women. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban, I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. We call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G. North 
they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? Except the man. You see, the woman is being dangled, so he'll read the adverts. And BMW, I don't know if you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes-Benz. I'm not in the market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle, I did 120,000 miles, and I had to change for another Beetle, and another Beetle, and another Beetle. Then they stopped making the Beetles, you know the Volkswagen Beetle. They started the Golf, so I had to buy Golf number one, Golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I am forced to read this advert. In my newspaper, I see a BMW motor car, and with a woman in the skimpiest skimpy of bikini, what you call the tanga, you know the g-string. She, she's standing in front of the motor car, and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. I'm asking, I'm asking, the woman of the car, the woman is buying the car. And the herd is underlined. Test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is the Westerner. He sells his mother, his wife, his daughter. His wife is a star. And she's been mangled on the screen, simulating rape. And they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated. It's not real rape. But you know, it's simulated. You can see everything about it. She's being raped. Your mother, your wife, your daughter. And you enjoy. Your wife is a star. Sick, sick. No, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God, we haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. I think I've said this before, someone wearing a hijab to me is not, um, what did she call it, I'm even for oppression. Because I think I said in one of my videos that my grandmother was Christian, I don't know what she was, if it was Pentecost, if it was, but I know it wasn't Catholic. She always had her hair uh, tied, she was always wearing a head wrap. Nothing was showing, always in a head wrap. And no one ever condemned her, so... Why should we just look at Islam and say the oppressing their women when there are other denominations in this world where these women, other than just Christians and Muslims, are wrapping their hair? Other than that, also for some people, they wrap their hair because it's tradition. So how is that oppression? We've been the Western world has made it seem like it's such a bad thing, and yet maybe it's not. First of all, it's going to pr protect your hair from uh, heat damage or breakage you name it there's also benefits to having your hair wrapped in something otherwise always um glad to be reacting to Amit did that and his jokes i just love this man love 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 this man otherwise we need to be more open-minded to towards why people do what they do you have to interact with someone and find out from them why do you wear this hair wrap listen to them and give your opinions i feel like it's this but then they always make you understand that they really want to do it for themselves it's not everyone has a choice in this world anyway no one can force you and if you feel like you're being forced that's why people and eggs are running away from maybe their parents that are forcing them to do something that they don't want to do otherwise great video great 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 enjoyed it let me know what you guys think do you have any contributions concerning the hijab and what not i'm always glad to hear your response uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video